Welcome in my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's fitness instructional video coming to you from Revision Training. My name is Tyler Marin and I'm going to be your instructor for today. We've got a great instructional video today for resistance band training. These are super, super convenient. They travel with you very easily, um, pack down, they're, they're very versatile, there's so many things you can do with it. I've got nine exercises I'm gonna show you guys today, some upper body, some lower body work. So I think you're really gonna like what we're working with today. So stick with me on this one. If you don't have any resistance bands, go ahead and take a look online. There's a ton of options for you. Um, check out the groups that I have set up. There's a lot of information on there about right bands to pick out. And today we're doing this instructional video outside. So workouts are all about adapting to your situation, to your environment. Um, joining my family this weekend for the holiday, very excited to be with them, and it's very easy to fit in your workout when you're willing to flex and be a little more adaptable. So let me introduce myself to you in case this is the first time you've seen one of my videos. My name is Tyler Marin. I'm a three-time Paralympic athlete. I'm a motivational speaker and personal trainer. And my, my company now, Revision Training, has a project where we're bringing accessible fitness workouts to you. Whether you have full vision, whether you're visually impaired, doesn't matter, we're formatting these workouts to fit all people who wanna check out these workouts. So, if you've got full vision, you should be able to see me in the camera view here. If you are visually impaired, don't worry about it, I'm gonna audio describe everything that I'm doing. I'm outside right now, enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the, the nice weather. I've got a resistance band with me, and the only thing I have now uh, that I need to get a couple of these exercises in, I'm standing next to a swing set. So whatever you have to work out with, wherever you are, if you've got a resistance band and something sturdy, you can wrap the band around or toss the band over. Maybe you have a door anchor, something like that. Easily done. I'm gonna show you guys some really cool exercises you can do with these bands. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're gonna work our upper body first, then I'm gonna show you a couple leg exercises. And at the end of the video, I'll talk to you about mixing some of these together and some different ways you can set it up in a good strength training format. So having a resistance band is all about finding the right level and, and uh, setup for yourself, whatever your fitness level is. So this is about a medium strength band. It's not super tight, not super light. But with resistance bands, all you really have to do is adjust your positioning to change the tension level. So the first exercise I'm going to show you, I've got a vertical post here that I've got um, about four feet away from me right now. I'm facing towards it and I've wrapped the band around the post at about belly level, chest level. So it's not very high. It's probably about three and a half feet off the ground. I'm going to stand at a distance where the band is starting to stretch. I've got my arms straight out in front of me. I'm gonna stagger stance my feet. Whatever is comfortable for you, I've got my left foot forward, my right foot back just slightly. They're offset a little bit to help keep my balance. The first exercise I wanna show you is a, a band row. So this exercise is gonna work your biceps, your forearms, and your traps and rhomboids, the muscles in your upper back and shoulders. So I'm facing towards the bar. I've got my arms straight out in front of me. My palms facing in towards each other. You can have them pointing down or pointing up, either way. Facing in towards each other is more of a neutral grip that's gonna be a little easier to work with. Your head is up. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pull your shoulders back before you bend your elbows. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, then pull your elbows into your ribs. So I've got my elbows just on the outside of my ribs. My palms facing in towards each other still as I squeeze and pull the band towards me. And then extend my arms out again. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull your elbows in. Reach out, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull your elbows in. Now the reason you wanna activate those shoulders first by squeezing them back, that's gonna target all those stabilizer muscles in your upper back and shoulders, which is gonna help with better posture, it's gonna help with supporting your spine, taking pressure off the discs in your spine. A lot of benefits to making sure that we can squeeze the shoulder blades together, retract the scapula, and then draw the elbows into your side. So this is a band row. Now if you wanna make it a little bit tougher, all I have to do is step back a little farther, put a little more stretch on the band. 
If you have an entire set, you can switch it out for a heavier band or a lighter band, depending on what you're trying to do. All of these exercises, you can do 10 to 12 repetitions, 15 repetitions, multiple sets, very easy to work with. Now we're gonna do the opposite exercise. We're gonna do a chest press. Exact same setup. I've got the band still wrapped around the pole. It's about chest level for me. I'm gonna turn around now and I'm gonna face the opposite way. So what I did is I've got the pole behind me. I grabbed the handles on the outsides of the band. Okay, so I'm gripping the handles of the band and the band is running along the inside of my forearms, inside of my elbows, and along my ribs. I'm gonna step forward to stretch out the band just a little bit, and the same thing I did with the row movement. I'm gonna stagger stance my feet, one foot back, one foot forward, head is up. My elbows are bent at my sides, my palms are facing in towards each other, my wrists are straight, and I'm just gonna push my fists out in front of me. I'm gonna straighten my arms out in front, pushing away from me. This is a band chest press. So I'm working the muscles in my chest and the front of my shoulders and the triceps, the back of my arms. Okay, so for anybody who wants to develop strength in the back of their arms, they want to tone up the back of their arms, this is a great exercise because as you push away from you and straighten your elbows, this is going to cause those muscles to tighten up and, and develop and tone up. So this is a band chest press. The exact same thing as the row, just facing the other direction. Exact same movement and concept. As you push forward, you're extending your shoulder blades so you kind of open up the muscles in your back and shoulders. Okay? Two exercises for the upper body. Let's go ahead and do a lower body exercise. Now, a standard squat, if you've seen some of my exercise videos, we've gone through squats a lot, but I'm gonna cover that real quick just so you have the right concept because a lot of people miss this. They don't understand how to sit, to hinge at the hips, to use their, their knees and uh, back properly. So we wanna make sure that we're getting that proper movement when we sit and squat. I'm gonna squat down by putting my feet hip width, my toes pointed forward. As you sit, you wanna initiate the squat movement by pushing your hips back first. So I'm starting up in a straight high position, my head is up high. I push my hips back just slightly so all the weight goes into my heels. And then as I sit down, I'm trying to sit in a little chair that's way back behind me. As you do that movement, pushing your hips back, that keeps your knees further back. It's over top of your ankles instead of pushing them forward out on your toes, which puts a lot of pressure in the knees. You push your hips back and you sit down in a little chair that's way back behind you that uses the muscles in your glutes and your legs to make sure that that movement stays in those muscle groups and not in your knees. Now we can do that same movement using the bands. So I'm gonna step on the band with both feet and as I'm standing up in my squat position, I've got my, my palms facing back behind me. I'm gonna bend my elbows and bring the resistance band stretched up to my shoulders. So I'm standing up perfectly straight right now. I've got my elbows bent at my side. I've got my palms facing in front of me with my knuckles up towards the sky and the band gripped in my hand and, and the band running in front of my forearms. So as my head is up, now I can do that squat movement, pushing my hips back, sitting my hips down, and then standing back up. And as I hold onto the band, the band just stays at my shoulder level now I'm using the resistance of the band as I do these squats. Now another thing that's really cool about doing this is you can use this band now to make sure that your knees are staying lined up. So as I squat down, if my knees are collapsing in, which is what they're not supposed to do, if I collapse my knees in as I squat down, my feet are wider than my knees right now, that puts a lot of pressure in the knees. So you can keep your knees open in contact with the band as you squat down, that'll help you keep your knees lined up. You can feel the alignment with your knees that way. So band squats, excellent way to add a little bit of tension to your workout. Let's go back to our upper body work. Bicep curls, same thing. Standing on the band with both feet. This time though, what you're gonna focus on is instead of bringing them up to your shoulders first, 
I'm standing on the band. Back is straight, head is up. Palms facing towards you guys. Bending my elbows and bringing my fists up towards my shoulders and back down. As I bend the elbows, keeping my elbows by my ribs, your head is up, shoulders are back. A lot of times with bicep curls, we see a lot of swaying forward, leaning back. Keep yourself statue still. Your head, your shoulders, your spine, your hips, everything should stay in alignment as you squeeze your fists, bring them up, bend the elbows to do a bicep curl, bring it back down. The opposite of that, now if you have a bar that's up at about head level, this is the best way to get a tricep extension. You can put the bar, uh, sorry, put the band over top the bar. So I've got it just hanging down now in front of me. The, the handles are right now at about my belly level. So if you have an option to have it a little bit higher, that's great. If not, not a big deal. You can just step back a little bit from the, um, from the bar. So I've got it hanging in front of me now. I've got my hands on the handles. I've got the, um, the weight, I'm sorry, the band in front of me. I've got my elbows bent at my sides, right? So my hands are up in the air just a little bit at about chest level. Elbows are right by my ribs. I've got one foot in front of me, one foot behind me. So staggered stance again. Keeping my elbows at my side, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna push my hands down towards the outsides of my legs. So I'm straightening my arms out. And as I straighten my arms out, I'm pushing the band down. That's gonna straighten the elbows, stretch the band and work the muscles in the back of my arms, work the triceps. So this is a tricep extension, opposite of the bicep curl, working the muscles in the back of your arms instead of the front. So again, standing up tall, elbows are bent, Fists are kind of up at shoulder, chest level, and then I'm pushing my fists down to the outside of my thighs, stretching out the back of the arms. Perfect. Okay, just a couple more, and then I'll talk to you guys about how we can mix all of these into a good workout set. So now, with the band placed under one foot, we're gonna go back to the legs, and we're gonna do a lunge movement. Very similar to the way that we did the squat, but instead of both feet, we're gonna have one foot down. I'm gonna place one foot straight ahead of me. Gotta find my footing, make sure I'm not uh, tipping over in the sandbox here. <laughs> I got one foot in front of me and one foot way back behind me. So instead of stagger stance, I'm more in a lunge position. One foot straight ahead, one foot way back behind me. My back leg is gonna stay straight. My front leg is gonna bend. So here's how we're gonna do this one. With the band under my front foot, again, I'm gonna bend my elbows, I'm gonna pull my fists up to my shoulders. Now, I'm going to lunge down on my front leg, so I bend my knee, drop my hips down towards the floor. Your back leg can stay straight, or you can bend the back knee and push it down towards the floor. For this particular movement, I like keeping my back knee straight, so either way is fine. I'm gonna lower down on that front leg and push back up the whole time I've got my fists up by my shoulders and my elbows at my side. So I'm holding the band steady and pushing up. As I come down on that front leg and coming back up, my arms and hands don't move, just bending my leg, squatting down and pushing back up. So using the band as a resistance point for the lunge. Last three exercises here. We're gonna do a shoulder press standing up straight, stepping on the band with one foot or both feet, depending on how much resistance you want. Both feet's gonna be a little bit tougher. Bend your elbows so that your elbows are by your side, your fists are by your shoulders, palms facing away from you, the band is in front of your forearms, head is up high. You're gonna push straight up over your head, push your knuckles up towards the sky. So as you push up, you're gonna create that resistance, the band's gonna stretch as you're reaching up overhead. Now here's a key for the overhead press. You wanna make sure that your arms and shoulders are not completely aligned. And what I mean by that is, 
if my shoulders are right here by my ears, my elbows, my forearms, and fists should be slightly in front of my body, slightly in front of my shoulders. If my elbows and fists are back here along my side, like I'm squeezing them way back, you're gonna put a lot more tension in your shoulder. You wanna keep your elbows, your forearms, and your fists just slightly in front of your body. Imagine there's a bar that you're holding onto instead of these separate handles of the band. If you're holding onto a bar and you have it back here and you try to push up overhead, you're gonna just hit yourself in the head. You wanna be slightly in front of your body so that as you push up, that's gonna relieve tension on the ligaments and tendons in your shoulders and put the stress in the muscles where it's supposed to be, okay? Then the opposite of that, so a lot of these exercises you can see have partner movements. So the opposite of that is gonna be a pull down. Now again, I've got a little bit of a lower <laughs> bar here, but a lat pull down, if you can put the band up in the top of a door frame, or you've got a bar you can throw it up over, you can do a lat pull down by kneeling down, extending your arms up. So I'm reaching up overhead now with the bands and I'm gonna pull my elbows down to my ribs. So as you're reaching up and pulling back down towards you, this is gonna create a lot of tension in your lats and your shoulders, working the muscles in the lower back. So a lat pull down. So I'm kneeling down, reaching up overhead with grabbing the handles of the bands, pulling my elbows into my side, pulling my fists down towards my shoulders. And then the last exercise that I wanna focus on for the legs, really, really good one, is a lateral band walk. So again, the surface that you're working with, you wanna be a little cautious with. I'm in a sand pit, which I really like, but it's uh, gonna be a little bit easier if you're on a flatter surface. Stepping on the band with both feet, you're actually going to keep your feet separated about 12 inches or so, a little bit farther. And we're gonna do kind of a, a penguin waddle, right? So I've got the band in my hands, I've got them right at my sides, maybe lifted up just a little bit to create a little bit of tension. I'm gonna take a couple of steps to my left as I stretch the band out between my feet and then I'm gonna take a couple of steps to my right. This is called a band walk, a lateral band walk. And what I'm doing here is I walk back and forth. I'm creating a lot of tension in the outside of my hips. So I'm working my glutes, working the hip abductors, creating a lot of tension in those stabilizer muscles as I kind of shuffle step left and right. So I'm looking forward the whole time, toes pointed forward. I'm gonna take a few steps to my right with the band under my feet, a few steps to my left. Band stays under my feet. So these nine exercises that we just did will target just about every single muscle group in your body. You can mix and match them. You can do all six upper body exercises together in one move, one set, and then do all three leg exercises. You can do upper body exercises one day, leg exercises the next. There's a lot of different ways you can mix and match these. But having a set of resistance bands that you take around with you easy way to get in some strength training, get your body working, and making sure that you're keeping yourself toned and strong wherever you might find yourself, a hotel room or on vacation somewhere. Give yourself 15, 20 minutes to do a few exercises and you're good to go. So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. I hope that you got some good information out of it. Please share, comment, like. Make sure you let me know if my descriptions were on point. If you have any questions, I'm gonna jump on there and answer any questions that you might still have because this is about making it accessible for you guys making sure you can follow these workouts and exercises so get yourself a set of resistance bands if you don't have them and give this a try from revision training let's change the way we look at it thanks guys have a great day